Alright guys, um, this is Lick Friday once again, but this time uh, we're on week 21 and we're going to be taking licks from my D minor slow blues jam which I did a few years back. Um, people have been asking for tabs for this, um, unfortunately I don't have the time to tab out everything on this track and to be honest it was, it was a jam so I have no idea what I was doing apart from jamming it so it would take me forever to jam it out. So I'm going to take a few choice um, licks over the next 10 to 20 weeks, um, possibly 20 weeks, not sure yet, um, from, the, from, the, from the track and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy them. If you haven't already seen the, the jam or played along with the jamming track, then check out the links below and um, that will point you in the right direction. Hopefully you enjoy it. But for now, this is the lick, first lick, lick 21, taken from the D minor track. This lick, as I said, is all based around the D minor, so um, the pentatonic, or you can use the minor scales, which I use quite a lot in this jam. So um, all of which you can find the scales on my website, um, and that should. Uh, hopefully help you out with learning these scales. There is a video for learning the pentatonics, a fast track way for learning the, vent, the, the pentatonics. So check it out and see what you think. Um, anyway, right, so the first thing we do with this is we take the 13th fret on the second string and we do a full tone bend twice. So you get... So try and add some vibrato on the end of that. So. Um, then we've got quite a fast little lick in itself with the 10th fret on the 1st string to the 13th fret on the 2nd string, uh, pulling off to the 10th fret on the 2nd string and then you're going to be bending the 12th fret on the 3rd string, like that, so you get this. It's quite quick, um, so you may need to just take that little snippet and take it slowly and use that as an exercise in itself so it's quite a nice lick in itself um, so it's a good one to practice anyway um, so after you've done that uh, we're going back to uh, where are we 10th fret on this so after you've done 12th fret bend on the third string you're going to the 10th fret on the second string to the 10th fret on the 1st string, so it's, oh sorry, so here we go, we go, like that. So I'm using the 1st finger to roll across from the 2nd string to the 1st string on that 10th fret, so you're not worrying about changing fingers at all. Um, then it's back to the 10th fret, so same finger again, so it's 10, 10, then it's 13 on the 2nd string, so um, then it's 12th fret on the 3rd string, so I'm using the 3rd finger for the 13, 2nd finger for the um, 12th on the 3rd string. Um, then you're to the 10th fret, this time again using your 1st finger on the 2nd string, rolling that across to the 3rd string, the 10th fret. And then you've got uh, a double stop, not a double stop, sorry, two stabs on the 12th fret of the 4th string. First one is staccato, so you're cutting it dead. And then the second one, you're leaving it ringing with vibrato. And then to finish with, you're going to put a staccato note on the 10th fret of the 3rd string. So you get... Roll that out if you want to, slide it out. Um, when you're doing these slides coming back, you don't want to sort of stop at a certain point on the, on the fretboard because it's just going to sound crap. Um, so what you want to try and do is as you're sliding out, you're going to be sort of lifting your finger off. But as you're lifting your finger off, you want to be putting your right hand 
onto the strings so you don't end up with the unwanted ringing strings or open strings. So you get this slide, lift off, push down. So it's both coordinate together. If you uh, lift off without putting this down, then you're just going to end up with an open string. Um, so, and if you stop at a certain point, you're going to end up with an unwanted note, more than likely. So, enjoy the lick. Hopefully you will, and I will see you next week for Lick Friday, week 22. See you later.